What are you addicted to that is perfectly legal? Buying video games and never playing them. There's an item on your wish list that's on sale for a penny. Buy it now so you can put off playing it until 2045. My computer. Yeah. I get the same anxiety checking my screen time app as I do my bank account. Going back to sleep after I wake up. Staying up late to enjoy the peace and quiet that comes at 1am. Laying around and never getting anything done. My dream is to be horizontal most of the time. Procrastination. Caffeine. Me too. The only substance I am addicted to. Sugar. Whenever mates went for a smoke break, I had my Haribo break. Coke and instant ramen. Edit, Coca-Cola. How's prison life treating you? Using cotton swabs in ear. I know it pushes your wax and deeper. But damn it it feels good. Alcohol. I'm a functioning alcoholic. Help me please. Edit, after reading a lot of these, I've decided to check out a few resources. Biggest issue I have is I just have no enjoyment of things without it. Thanks for tips I've been sent. Check out Smart Recovery if you aren't a fan of the AA approach. Pringle. One solitary Pringle. Beat Saber. I'm a 44-year-old dad. On my second game ever I almost scored a perfect on a hard level. Missing only three blocks. I've been hooked ever since. I've been moxed fighting with her in fair group since I was a teen. So I think that might have something to do with it. The phrase I've been hearing a lot is fitness is the color app for VR. What's crazy is the demographics. The sea of the supernatural VR app, I think it's Beat Saber vibes but more fitness focused, was on a podcast recently, Decoder, and he mentioned over 60% of their users are over 40. That's a wildly different kind of growth than what new tech is used to. Chocolate. Chocolate. My phone. Anyone else feel ashamed when they get their weekly screen time report? Chapstick. Edit, in case anyone is interested. I don't use Chapstick the brand but Lipsil cause it's cheap and Vaseline at home cause it's bomb. Chapstick the brand sucks and dries your lips out. I just don't know what other general term you'd use for the stuff. Edit 2, lip balm is the term I'm looking for. Thanks guys lol it's been a long day week year life, peace hand sign. Are you my daughter? Every Christmas I fill her stocking with around 30 tubes of whatever brand she prefers right then and by November she's out. I even got her little keychain chapstick holders last year since she had her own car keys finally. Internet. Spicy food. It tastes so good. This is scientifically backed. The man, Smokin' Ed, who bred the Carolina Reaper is an ex-addict and used the endorphins addictive qualities of hot foods to get him off hard drugs. He's a huge advocate for it. Chronic masturbation. I get it. It sucks. Wikipedia. I guess it's not a terrible habit to have. But I spend a lot of time on wiki marathons. This is one of my most rewarding time wasting habits. Lego. Specifically sorting pieces into categories. I can't get enough. The praise and approval of others. I've worked hard to hide this fact. But it's definitely an issue. I feel this one. A friend of mine who I respect a lot recently told me he was proud of me. I stood up for myself, and boy. I've been chasing that high ever since. Caffeine and tobacco with hint of porn. Chef's kiss. Biting my nails and picking at them. Gaming. Spending money on games. Spending money. That doesn't mean I have a whole lot of money to spend. I just can't seem to stop looking at store apps or yard sales or going out to eat when I don't need to. My wife reigns me in for a lot of it but I impulse by shit I absolutely don't need all the time. Maybe it's more of an impulse control problem but it typically always involves money. For example I bought custom eye contacts based off the Rinnegan and another main Jekyll Asheringan from the show Naruto. I'm 33. A lot of addictions are fed by impulse control problems. It's a hallmark of an addictive personality. Reddit. I can quit whenever I want. Dog collars and dog gear. I have one dog. And like 120 plus fancy collars for her. I had to unfollow collar makers because I can't stop myself from overbuying sometimes lmao but it makes me happy and I never have gone broke over it. 
I just know I look insane with that many collars, leashes, bandana, etc. Wow this comment got more attention than I thought. Here's Willow in some of her fancy collars for y'all to enjoy. HTTP, colon slash slash, imgur, com gallery xbza and thanks for the award. This is the most interesting one yet. Chocolate. Popcorn. Crunchy. Buttery. Salty warm delicious smelling popcorn. Not the microwave crap. I mean like. The perfect. Better than at the movies. Made with precision. Care and love popcorn. Music. We're in the best time in history to have a music addiction with the streaming era. Every week I have at least 2-3 new albums to listen to on top of having instant access to all my favorite old music. Vacuuming. I can't stop. And I won't stop. Edit. A lot of you asked what I use favorite. Currently. I use a Dyson V7 cordless vacuum and it's hands down my favorite because of the sheer force of the suck and no cord to get in your way. You can come over to my place and have at it. LOL. Diet Coke. Mindless eating and telling people they're wrong on the internet. Terraria. Terraria is the only game I can get on and completely lose time in without even realizing. There's just always something to mindlessly work towards. T. And X200B. And specifically Yorkshire Gold but any strong tea will do in a pinch. Flamin Hot Cheetos. Indomie Me Goreng. Orgasms. Natural endorphins that don't seem to be so addictive that I need to quit everything else to do it at every given moment. Gummy bears. A couple weeks ago my friend who lives in my hometown dropped off two packages of gummy bears at my mom's work as a gift for me. My mom brought them to me last weekend. So I opened the first package the other night and enjoyed part of it then decided to save the rest for later. Two nights ago I grabbed the remainder of the package to enjoy as a late night sweet treat. I had only left myself three damn gummy bears. Three. So disappointing. Luckily I had another whole package left. Sunflower seeds. Eating seeds as a pastime activity. Edit. Oh no what have I done? Delta 8. I moved to Texas and weed is illegal here so I started using Delta 8 and. It's weed. Edit I get my gummies and tinctures from Greenboard Botanicals in Austin. Literally looking through this thread wondering if I'd see anyone say this. Hello fellow high Texan. Tobacco and Kratom. I've got chronic pain issues from a knee injury. Thought it would be a viable alternative to prescription pain medicine. It's not. It's not as potent but just as addictive. I can't seem to not buy it. Fast food with delivery. It's dumb how addicting. Easy. Rewarding the lack of effort it is. It gets to the point that I get home from work. With time to cook. With food on the fridge to prepare. Look at the kitchen and feel myself deflate and all strength leave my body. A. Hey, what's one more delivery? It drains me physically. Mentally. And monetarily. Yet it's completely legal. Advertised. Encouraged. Was never like that until one two years after living in a house by myself. It's gotten to the point that I prefer to drive 40 minutes to my parents' house just to eat a proper home-cooked meal. I'm sure they appreciate the visits. But I bet they think I'm do it because I'm overworked, I am. But that's not the reason, and have no time to cook. Cooking by yourself. For yourself does kinda suck. With prep. Cooking. And clean up it's usually a hour of effort for 10 minutes of eating. Try switching to meal prep style cooking where you make enough food for a week. The level of effort doesn't really change but the amount of home cooked meals goes way up. Try cooking with or for someone else. It's more emotionally rewarding. I'm sure your parents would love to be invited to dinner at your place once a month. Tips. Eargasms are the best next to orgasms. I'm addicted to being addicted to things. Never the same stuff. But always bouncing from being completely obsessed with something to dropping it for something else. That feeling of being completely into something and being excited about just learning doing something new feels amazing. YouTube. Man. Exploring series. Kings and generals. Fire of learning. Some crazy German one that explained space to me. I'm furious I sat through 12 years of public bullshit but every day some enthusiastic person on YouTube can break down learning for me. The passion speaks volumes for most of those content creators. 
McDonald's sausage biscuit, the one that's just a sausage patty on a buttermilk biscuit. With a packet of strawberry jam on it. So good. Netflix. Warhammer. Plastic crack. Alcohol. Shit will ruin your life. Expected this to be a lot higher up. Doctor. Pepper baby. Instant noodles equals Satan. At the moment. Flavored sparking water. I went from you to one a day to more quite fast. It is freaking hot outside and I would normally have a coke. Food? I think this rings true to many people with Ed. Hot sauce. Frank specifically.